we, we pick the location. You have to plan where everyone's going to sleep. Because as soon as you plan, hey, where's everyone going to sleep in an emergency? You're going to realize if your current facility is big enough. You might have five families coming. Just, just come to my house, come to my house. And guess what? Five families show up, and you're overwhelmed. Where are we going to sleep all these people? Figure it out now. Say, family A is going to have the basement on this side. Family B is going to have that. Do this for a few reasons, see if you need more space, and also it's going to give peace, people peace of mind. When they come to your place, guess what? It's already planned out. You don't want to be planning logistical things out when there's a major crisis happening because your mind is not going to be working, and you want to, you want to do other things than, hey, where were you going to sleep? You already know what, who's going to sleep where. Try to maintain fam family integrity. If you got teenagers, it's a little easier to separate a teenager from their family. They probably want to be separated. But if, if you have young kids, four or five years old, they have just gone through a very traumatic experience. They probably do not want to sleep away from mom and dad. So make sure you consider that. Uh, I got like two minutes left. Let me go fast here. The group needs, needs equipment. Maybe we need night vision. Maybe we need a, a ham radio. Maybe we need something for the group. What you can do, you can all put money into the group and, and buy the product, but then who owns that product? And then you have a major problem at the end if somebody moves away and you say, oh, no, I bought that. I mean, I'm the one that called the telephone number and ordered it. And then the other guy, well, we all paid for it. What are you going to do? I think the best thing to do is that if your group needs a ham radio, one guy buys the ham radio. If you need night vision, one guy buys the night vision. As you go along, more people can buy night vision, but there's a lot of things to buy. So do it that way. Just divide up, and that way if a, group, a member wants to leave the group, they take their night vision with them, and the group figures out what they're going to do. I think in the long run it will help you. If it's for the group and you have a solid team, or a solid team you can store those things at the, at the retreat. To stock or not to stock. If the retreat is occupied by someone, you should stock it. The reason is, if you don't stock your retreat and something happens, let's say an EMP happens, and you're fully stocked with a year's supply of food, you got enough ammo to start a small war in Central America, and EMP happens, and you have no vehicles to haul 17,000 pounds 12 miles away, you're not gonna move it, there's no way. If you do decide you have to leave because of security, you, you just left somebody with a lot of good survival equipment. And probably what will happen is you'll stay there because you don't want to leave, and then the whole group is sort of disintegrated. Um, so stock stuff at your retreat. Worst case, I walk out my front door, I walk 12 miles, I'm at my retreat, and all my supplies I have. Maybe not all, you need to keep maybe a month's supply for short-term electrical outages at your house, but if you have a serious group, you need to stock your retreat. People will show up at the retreat because their food is here. They know where their next meal is. It's right there. Um, I think the biggest thing is the, the bottom one. What you have just told the group that you are 100% in. There's, there's no backing out. You're in. The group is, is finalized. You stepped over that line. This is where I'm coming. My food is here. My, my supplies are here. It reassures the rest of the group members that, hey, my family's coming. This is a famous saying, when the crap hits the fan, I'm coming to your house. I, my philosophy has changed 100% on this. 100%, I'll tell you why. If things are so bad, and you've worked at that house for 30 years, and you've paid your house off, and you, you, you've developed your little nest in your house, if someone has to leave their house and come to me, it's bad. I mean, there's no doubt about it. It is catastrophic if someone's going to leave everything they've worked for and come to my house. Catastrophic. Because they've given it up. They might never be able to go back and get it. The house might be burned down. The house might not exist. Or someone else might have moved into the house. So it's not really a bad thing when someone says that to me. But I will preface it with this. Well, you better bring a year's supply of food. If you've seen Total Chaos, every able-bodied person is an asset. I don't care if you have no skills. If you're smart enough to, to sit here and watch my pasture and watch my cows, you are a huge asset in any grid down situation. So when people say that to you, preference to it, hey, you bring, bring your supply of food and I'll find a place for you. Um, every able bodied man and woman will be important at that time. What, what am I personally doing? I probably have one minute, so I'll go fast. 
We formed a group many, many years ago, and since that time, that group has split. Not, not in a bad way, it's just has grown so large, we have split because of geographics, getting guys and families closer together. Um, it's always great when you do that because you just build your network. Right now, there are so many preppers forming groups, forming uh, unity. It is unbelievable, I can't keep up with them. Um, so find other groups in your area and get to know them, a big plus. The last thing is communication with a ham radio. Set up a ham radio so you can talk. If you can talk 50 miles to another group, it's a huge plus. Because if, if I can talk to my buddy 50 miles away and he gives me intel, guess what? That intel is probably good intel. It's not what I'm getting off the radio. It's not what I'm hearing through rumors through the neighborhood. It's probably good, solid information. Uh, my time is up. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right.